Hello everybody, my name is Neil and today I'm here for you with some hammer tutorials and these are kind of advanced tutorials. People have been asking me to make these kinds of things. Now I'm not going to go over how to make brushes, how to apply textures and uh, how to place like entities and stuff like that because I simply think that there's already plenty of people, you know, that made great tutorials out there for you on YouTube that you can find. Okay, so I'm not going to go over all those basics. I thought it was maybe a good idea to go over advanced concepts. So you know all those things, you know how to make a basic map, but you maybe you're wondering how to get kind of to the next level, quote unquote, you know, how, how do how do I improve at some at a certain point? How do I make things look just that little bit more um, nicer? Now, I'm certainly not the uh, be all end all when it comes to mapping whatsoever, but I do think I can teach you maybe a thing or two. So so, all right, let's get started here. So today is going to be like uh, advanced texture techniques um, and how to make things look good. So right here, what I've put in is just a very simple brush. It's, um, oops, it is actually 512 um, by 16 and 64 units high. <clears throat> the first thing I want to kind of mention Imagine this was a wall in your level. The first thing I do want to say really quickly is do understand the unit system, okay, in Hammer and in the Source Engine. So, for example, when I say 64 units high, you should have an idea of how high that is in a real life, quote unquote, if you were in this map and this was real life. So what you need to know is 64 units high is about the eye height of a player. So this will be enough to duck behind but not enough to like um, keep you from jumping over, okay? So you can still jump over this. Just rough guidelines so you know. And also 16 units wide, this should you know be a good uh, wall width. So again, imagine this was a wall in your level. So understand those things, okay? There's a, a lot of different units, like your, your rooms, the minimum height of any actual room should be 128 units. Do not go under that unless you want the player to not be able to jump properly anymore. And usually, you don't want to do that unless it's like a vent or something okay so you know do find those kind of units out and that that will help you in a lot of scenarios um but anyways let's get back to this so um that's just something about uh, units uh, of, of of measurement here but what i really do want to get into is texturing so say this was a wall in our level okay it's kind of basic as a mirage textures on it you know if this is our setting i mean at this point you might say well that's it all right that's my wall done get over to the next object well that would be enough for a beginner, but if you're going to do advanced stuff, then this is not enough. This does not look good at all. How can we fix that? First thing, think about texture scale. Right now, imagine this was a wall in real life that would be about as high as you. Would these stones be this big? Probably not. They'll be smaller, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to scale the texture down and we only need to do this for one face. Let me show the mask here. This is just one face. I don't have anything else selected. Nothing. By the way, the bottom here is no draw. Learn to use no draw. Very important. Every surface that was not going to show up needs to be no draw in your map. And um, let's just say, okay, well, how does, how come? I mean, I just applied the texture, just bam, you know, just applied it. How is this wrong? Well, it's most likely because Mirage is actually a fairly new map, at least the CSGO version is, and it has some fairly high-res textures. So uh, what they did here, I'm assuming, is they double-scaled it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just half the scale. So 250 is 125. So I'll put that in, hit apply. Okay, this is much better. Okay, the scale of this makes much more sense to me. Next trick. How are we going to... Why did I only do this for one size, uh, side? How are we going to get this to the other sides? And also... Look at this, like even if the scale wasn't an issue, for, for example, let's take these. Okay, these have the same scale, okay, the old scale. But look at this. This doesn't line up at all, right? This does not line up at all. How do we fix this? Well, there's a secret trick to hammer that I wish I knew earlier. <laughs> and that's very simple. Um, all you need to do is you need to select uh, one face and then hold the Alt key and then right click another face like so. Notice not only did this just apply the same texture at the same scale, it also magically made these two textures line up just perfectly. Really important, okay? So same thing, now let me show you. I have this selected, right click, bam, it's there, okay? And again, I can select this and I can go ahead and right click this. So that is really cool. Now it doesn't always line up because here we have like a cyclic thing, it's a cycle. Um, so you're gonna maybe end up with one corner that's not gonna line up. A lot of times in your map, 
this is going to maybe be a side that's going to be uh behind, like at a wall like maybe there's an actual that would be like a wall here so maybe uh you can solve it that way or you can cover it up because there's just no way to do it perfectly on all corners but ultimately now already the texture looks a lot better now first thing we need to talk about now is trims trim is a very important concept in mapping and it really does make for more visual um, fidelity and what it is it's kind of like an outline at the top usually or at the bottom of a brush and how do we do this in the easiest way well we just select our grid grid is a very important concept again you already know that select a grid um size that that works for your trim in my case this will be eight uh, i like to go with an eight trim the easiest way to do this even let's say um let's say there would be like uh another wall we're just going to quickly put this up here just like rough like that okay so Say we had like a system of walls. Now, of course, what we would do again is like left click, hold, alt, right click, just to align this up just a little bit better here, for example, and then select these two, eight grid. Okay, make sure you're on eight grid uh, in this case and hit shift X and then just do this and uh, hit return. And that just created a trim, a, a, a basic trim here. Um, and what we're gonna do then is we're just gonna select the trim now we can do this like this or we just again most efficient is to just select one thing and now we need to select a trim so if you just type trim into your um, filter you will actually get a number of trims here and for mirage specifically there is a trim texture that has just a lot of trims here these are just trims one after the other and once i apply that you will see what i mean with trims so now we have this trim for example here Okay, it looks like this. Does this fit the wall? Uh, and this is a very important concept here. You, does this fit? I don't think so. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to cycle through them. Does this work? Well, not really. You know, well, but this looks quite nice. Okay, so, well, why not? Let's let's try this one. Let's say it's at, let's say, 132. So that's cool. All I need to do again is have this selected. Hold Alt, right click, and bam. Select right click bam. By the way, I hit Z to control the camera. Just some basic hotkeys that, that you know you should hopefully have already seen. And again, you know, we're just doing the same thing here. Now this side is not applied yet. It doesn't really matter here for our purposes. So that's really cool. All right, so this gives us a very basic trim. Now you notice that the top of the texture, like the top of the wall, does not look good anymore. So what we can do here is we can just find a different one. Let me just put this back maybe to this setting here so it's just a little bit easier to see and we just kind of want to make sure that it has a better color that works better with the new trim that we set so let's just pick this one i guess maybe uh kind of sucks it needs to be more similar in color i guess that kind of works for now it's pretty ugly but whatever and the same trick again select this uh with a left click alt and right click and there we go and now we have a fairly okay looking wall here i'm not happy with the top texture but uh, as, as a matter of fact for the tutorial i think this will work you notice there's actually a broken texture here for some reason we can re shift that uh, re alt right click that and it's realigned and now we have a nice looking wall actually at this point in time we notice that there is a texture error here where this is just one brush so we're getting an issue here so all we need to do is we need to select these two Shift X, cut. Make sure you hit Shift X so many times that it actually has both sides white. And then hit return and this splits it up. And now you can actually go ahead and make sure this is really uh, well adjusted. So uh, by going here, going there, going there, and going there. And this was again the alt trick. You can now see that this texture is automatically perfectly aligned and this looks much better already than what we had in the beginning and that was the point you know, again if something doesn't look right just copy the texture settings over and it will look much better that kind of rounds it up for now actually let me do this site uh, i hope this was kind of understandable and uh, taught you some basic things this trim concept is super important it makes so many surfaces look nicer and so that's kind of the idea of texturing here um, if you are going to do actually one last thing if you're going to use a decal uh, I would just select decals here or type in decal, find something. Uh, common mistakes do not really think about the surface that you're working with. So if you wanted to do a decal here, let me just find something. Um, actually, it's easier to just type in DEC. I think it gives you a couple more textures here. So say you liked something like this, for example, and you would apply it here. 
Bam. Why does this look really bad? Well, first of all, it's flickering. That's another issue with Hammer, unfortunately, I can't really deal with. But why does this not work? Because it doesn't make any sense. We have bricks here and we have bricks here. Why would there be bricks under bricks? That makes no sense. So that's why this really would never work. Um, so if you're going to use a decal there, use something uh, that would actually make sense. So no bricks under bricks. Or uh, maybe this, this wouldn't make any sense either. Because in the real life, like in real world, why, why would the wall look like that? Okay, it wouldn't look like that. So if you really did want to actually go ahead and make something work, use something like that. Okay, this would work. Right, that was that because it could like, it could be like that in real life. Put it a bit higher up. And you know, that's something, I mean, it doesn't look good right here, but it's, the idea is that it's, at least it makes sense. In a lot of cases, what you really want to do is think about real life and how things would look like in real life. And this will make your map look a lot more realistic. All right, so that's it. Thank you for watching. And until next time, um, let me know if you liked this. Let me know if this was something that helped you out. And bye-bye. Uh,